Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back with an with another reaction video. This time I'm reacting to Mo Sarji in his video, The Haunted Mirror Ritual in the Shanley Hotel Gone Wrong. I'm reacting to him, and if any notifications happen to pop up, I'll take care of them. And if any notifications happen to pop up while this video is going on, I apologize. I'm sorry. Now let's get back. Now let's get to watching this video. off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, talk, my boy. Live a little. What's up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another late night paranormal adventure. Today, I am... You guessed it. I'm at the Shanley Hotel. You probably noticed it by the thumbnail and the title. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to be going and exploring the Shanley Hotel all by myself in complete darkness. I'm only using night vision. I can't use my flashlight. I'm going to be in there all alone. And I'm terrified to do this because this place is mega haunted. We've been here all night filming. While I'm in there, the boys are going to be out of this place. So they're not allowed inside while I'm documenting and while I'm exploring all alone. We got to experience some more down in the basement below in the last episode. And uh, if you guys watched the first episode, we had a lot of paranormal stuff happen in here as well. This place is mega haunted. It's terrifying. Sorry about that, everybody. I wasn't making... Okay, I was making faces, but not to be mean, but my lips are a bit chapped. Sorry about that, everybody. My bad. Now, let's get back to the video. I only have my night vision with me, so let's go inside. Let's make sure all the lights are turned off, and let's start investigating. All right, here we go. Hey! Hey, you! Yeah, you! I see you watching me. Now, I want you to listen to me. Let me tell you about the best mobile game. In fact, it should probably be the only mobile game around, because you'll never need another mobile game again. If you don't know what it is by now, let me tell you guys about Raid Shadow Legends. Use my link below to download Raid yourself using mobile phone or PC. A lot of you guys haven't asked me to showcase my top five champions. In a raid. I'm going to show you guys what those top five champions are right here, but I also want you guys to let me know in the comments below what your top five champions in a raid are in the comments below. And let's get into the champions. I'm going to show you guys my top five favorite champions inside. Alaric the Hooded, level 60. Look at the costume that this dude has. The sword in hand, the sword on his back, all the daggers across his waistband over here. That's not my number one champion. That's my number five champion. The Quargon, the crown over here, guys. Look at this. Okay. Terrifying. Imagine facing this guy in the arena when you're battling your friends. Uh, if you're gonna go running scared, you're definitely gonna lose. Look at look at his hands. If you get jabbed with those hands, you're absolutely dead. I love the design it does on the actual costume itself. Really good to pay attention to detail over here. Bring off the malform. This guy's a level 60. He's got some really big hammers, and uh, he's got a nice face mask. As you guys can see, that mask is terrifying. If I saw this guy walking down the road, I'm gonna poop my pants. Bruce, the soul cage. Level 60 once again. Guys, this guy's floating with like some green oozing lava coming down his body. Unbelievably creepy. Last but not least, we have Prince Kymer of the Demon's Bond. Guys, this guy looks powerful. His horns are unbelievably creepy. He's got some super sane hair on the back of him. And uh, look at those swords coming out from his back. I wouldn't want to... Hold on a second, everybody. Sorry about that. I had to talk to... My mom about something. I had to talk to my mom about something. Sorry about that. Now let's get back to work. Get back to the video. The 
this guy either. Absolutely love the quality of detail on his outfit. Really cool. He is from hell, so you do gotta be careful with him. He is pretty terrifying. And this month, Brady's got a non-stop schedule of special events and activities, including an absolutely jam-packed Halloween lineup towards the end of the month. We're talking big awards, tournaments against the players, special fragment events against a brand new legendary champions, including one very special Halloween champion, and much more. Brady is bigger, busier, and better than ever. And there are some giant updates coming very, very soon. So there's really never been a better time to get started. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan my QR code and look at an epic hero judo. Sorry about that, everybody. I just need a minute. Sorry. I had to have a minute. Sorry about that. Who happens to be amazing in the Duke Tower, might I add? 200 key silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient charge so you can summon an awesome Sorry, champion as soon as you get in the game. All this treasure will be ready for you guys right here up in the treasure chest. Once you're in, you can find me in the game under the name of Sorgi, and if you're fast, you can join my clan. And it's that easy. Just click the link in the description, and I'll see you guys in the game. Terrifying, terrifying, terrifying. Just being in here alone is super scary. The fact that I'm here in the dark, even scarier. Let's do it, guys. I don't think all the lights can be turned off in here. I think only one or two bulbs have to stay on. But the rest of this place is completely dark. Oh, so terrifying. I am going to be sleeping here tonight, too, so that's like the worst part of that at all. Kind of scared, actually. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. There is an attic. I didn't show you guys the attic in the other episodes. I'm gonna go straight up to the attic. We're gonna explore it. We're gonna investigate it. It's the darkest part of this house. There actually isn't any electricity up there. Let's go up there right now. Okay, right, guys, making my way up to the attic. Complete darkness. So this is an area that I didn't show you guys in my first two episodes that I did here. Ooh, getting some strong vibes in this place. There are some sections here that are blocked off. It's kind of like abandoned up here, if anything. I don't know if there's something in this room, number 25. Now, this is the room that has the blood all over the walls for some reason. That's oh, breathing heavy. I'm breathing heavy because I'm scared. It is locked, but I don't think I can get it. What was that? What was that? Noise, I gotta go see. 
see what that is. Something just touched me. Something just touched me on my shoulder. My left blade. craziest thing just happened to me you guys and I couldn't get on camera because my camera literally stopped recording as I was about to enter this room over here this is the Ouija board room there's a Ouija board built into the ground of this room right here I was walking into it my camera shuts off turns back on and then tells me my memory card is corrupted uh, it, was, it was terrifying I had to run downstairs go to my backpack and grab a memory card and come back up and I'm I'm really terrified to come back up here right now. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Oh, one of these rooms has a Ouija board built into the ground. I think it's this one. Is this it right here? Oh, yeah, that's it right there. Oh, All right, well, well, you know, what happens happens, right? The yeah, fact is that my camera shuts off, turns back on, and gives me a notification. My memory is corrupted. I'm really hoping the beginning of this video is corrupted. Hopefully it didn't get corrupt, fingers crossed, but I did switch out my memory card just in case. Now, it's not abnormal for spirits or the paranormal to corrupt memory cards on cameras or even destroy cameras. I've had a camera literally disintegrate in my hand when it came to being somewhat really, really haunted. All right, let's go here. For, uh, you know what? I'm going to go here last year just in case because I want to go see what's in all these rooms over here. What is this? What a terrifying room. What am I looking at here on the ground? Just like, where is she on the ground? Oh, terrifying. This whole area looks like it's abandoned. They're running away. They still need to fix it, you know what I mean? They haven't fixed it yet. They haven't done anything with it yet. For good reason. I mean, it, it costs a lot of money to do that. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go in there, play with the Ouija board all by myself. Probably gonna be the most terrifying thing ever, but hey, who gives a shit, right? Let's go in there. Do it. Oh, 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 this is terrifying. This is oh, cool. What's that? What's that? Down the hallway. Oh, I just seen something down the hallway. Oh, the fact that I'm up here alone, man, just freaked me out. Here it is, guys. Oh, these candles are these real? These are. Oh, these are those little ones. Oh, the batteries are dead. They have a little mini light in them. What about this one? Does this one work? They're both kind of lit, but... Oh, okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I am going to play with the Ouija board all by myself. I'm going to set... <laughs> I can't even see anything. I'm going to set my camera on the chair over here. Okay, not only am I walking through the Shanley all by myself, but I'm about to play the Ouija board. Can you guys see? What is this? A piece of dirt. I don't think you guys can see the ground, so here's what I'm gonna do. Put you guys right here on the ground. There we go. Mm -hmm. Now that's beautiful. So this Ouija board is actually built in to the ground over here. I'm gonna play it alone. All right, here we go. Oh, something just touched me. I can't see a thing. Here we go, three, two, one. Calling out any spirits. Wanna communicate with me? Are you with me right now? Maybe I should use both hands on the cursor. Calling out spirits. Wanna communicate with me? I'm here alone playing the beach board. Let's go to the Shanley Hotel. Look for us. Do something. I hear some movement. Can you not blow my candles? Can you please not blow my candles? Nothing's happening. Ouija board, Ouija board, make my candles. Is there an entity in here? Is there a presence? Mm. Sounds like there's something down the hallway. Yo, this is so terrifying. The fact that I'm sitting here on my knees playing the Ouija board, in the shanty, in the dark, all by myself, 
is ridiculous and it's scary and I hope you guys are appreciating it but I'm gonna ask if Jane or Charlie are in, in here because Charlie is actually supposed to be the really evil spirit in here there is a demon living in the basement in a box you guys might have seen that in the other episodes I'm gonna see if I can communicate with Charlie because I actually saw Charlie down in the morgue when I was down there. Yes, there is a morgue down there, so. Charlie, Charlie, are you with me? Charlie, Charlie, are you with me? Talk to me, Charlie. Make something happen on the Ouija board, Charlie. Give me a sign that you're here, tip over my candles. Ouija board, Ouija board, are you alive? Can you can you talk? Can you talk? Okay, that scared me too. That ball come rolling in. I don't know if it's gonna be this scared me too. It made me jump at it. That was bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. That made me jump at it too. Just a little bit there. Charlie, was that you? This ball just rolled in here. They're coming from in here. Charlie? Shit. Charlie, was that you? Show yourself. It's not fair. We get here all of a sudden. Just like a foul cinch. There was a speck on my screen. Sorry about that, everybody. Now let's get back to the video. I mean that there is something here right now. Can't see a thing. Charlie. Why is this door closed? Oh, this door is locked for some reason. It doesn't open. Can't see a thing. Oh, man, this is terrifying. So that locked door leads into this room over here. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have spotted anything. Oh man. My camera keeps going blurry. Oh, something's causing that. Another speck on my screen. Sorry about that, everybody. Okay, this room is empty. That mirror, for some reason, and that doll. Oh my god, that is a doll. Holy shit. What was that? Hello? I forgot that there's a doll and a creepy mirror over here. Are you the one that's causing all this trouble? I need my K2 over here. Oh, what the hell did this little one come from? I didn't even see that there. My name is Mo Sarge, I'm sitting here in the dark all by myself. There's a creepy mirror here and there's a doll here. And I'm willing to bet both of them are haunted, so. If you are here, make my key to spike up the red, orange, green, whichever you want, just do something. Some type of movement, possibly. Keep in mind, guys, I can't see anything. I'm just looking into darkness. 
I'm using my screen to see what you guys are seeing. Damn you dolls. Where did you come from? Am I not getting anything on the K2? Nothing at all. All right, thanks for your time. I'm leaving now. Every time I turn around, every time I turn around in the darkness, it's like, I expect something to jump out at me and go downstairs before I have a heart attack up here in the darkness. Let's go down right now. All right, guys, back down on the second floor now. Make my way down the stairs. Go from other parts, there's the brothel area where there's... I don't know. Did that door just creak open? I guess, I'm not sure. That door just creaked open. Sorry about that everybody, a notification popped up. I didn't mean for it to. But let me take care of this. My apologies everybody for that notification. Now let's continue the video. This is what This is what creaked open. This is what This is what creaked open. Who's with me 
right now. Talk to me. I'm so terrified. My name is Mo Sergi and I want to communicate with something. I'm trying my best not to look at the mirror. I'm, you guys don't know me. Like, you don't know me well now. I'm terrified of mirrors in the dark. Absolutely terrified of them. Is there anyone here? We were getting a lot on this earlier today. Is there anything here? Jamie, are you here? What is all these echoes that I'm hearing? I'm hearing faint voices trying to come through. What are you saying? I can't hear you clearly. Sorry about this everybody, I gotta, I gotta take care of something first, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that everybody, I had to take care of something first, sorry about that. Oh, my pillow just fell down, sorry about that. Fell on, fell back on me and It does that sometimes, but now I can... Let's get back to the video. That weird tone, guys, it's strange. We've used three different types of spirit boxes in this place today, and it's the first time I hear this type of tone on a spirit box. It's almost like somebody picking up a phone, trying to answer. I don't know if my camera picked up on that. I just had to run outside. I just had to turn on the lights in here. I literally saw myself through the mirror. It was, it was like it was like I froze looking at that mirror, and I literally saw my 
I did not look like me. I looked demonic. My face looked different. You can hear all the way back in the room. That box is still going completely crazy. Hold on, everybody. Sorry about that, everybody. My mom was trying to call me. Let me get to her and I'll get back to you. Sorry about that, everybody. My mom had to talk to me about something. But let's get back to the video. I would edit that part out where she called me, but I don't know how to edit that part out. So let's get back to this video. I ran, I literally ran outside. I had to get my parents together. Oh my God, holy shit. <laughs> this is so fucking terrifying. I'm gonna go get the guys. I'm done with this my challenge video. I might film myself sleeping, but that's about it. Even that for right now, the way I feel. That's fucking terrifying. I saw my face change. It like changed. It's like something else was in my face and it just completely changed. I don't even want to go back there and turn that radio off. I'm going to go meet up with the guys who are outside at the well somewhere. And, uh, and tell them exactly what happened. I am going to find the guys right now. I have no clue where they are. Hold on, everybody. I need a minute. Sorry about that, everybody. I needed a minute. Sorry about that. Let's get back to this video. They're nowhere inside the house. They must be out here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Yo. Oh, the Jesus fuck? Christ, what the heck is wrong with you? Yo, I just had the worst and craziest experience ever with that mirror in that seance room. I was looking into the mirror, and then it's like, it's like my face changed. It's like a demon. Like a demon was in my face. I just had a crazy experience in there earlier. Dude, I was looking at myself. I closed my eyes for 30 seconds and I asked it to show themselves to me. When I opened my eyes, it was my face, but it was like smiling. I was straight face like this. Like actually? On my life. So on what, happened, thing, I what happened with me is I had the spirit box, that big one. And it was just going off. It was giving me lots of voices, lots of things. So much was happening on it. And then I just froze. And it's like... I wanted to take my eyes off the mirror, but it, my, my eyes were like glued, completely glued to it. And then all of a sudden my face just started changing. It was like cracking up, but it was turning demonic at the same time. Like it didn't look like me, I had to recognize myself, and I freaked out and I ran the hell out of there. And he, he's saying he, that mirror, like she told us, she told us that mirror, is, it's like a black mirror, it's, what called, it's called a black mirror, it's like, it's like a gateway or a portal. It shows you if something's attached to, or if something is in the premise. I guess we all know that. Came here over a year ago, yeah, it's a really, really sad story, but we came in, I came with my girlfriend and three of my friends. All of them after this, they never want to come back here again. But what happened was, came out here after I signed my waivers to get something out of my trunk. When I closed my trunk, I saw like a little girl run from this, over here to over here. And I was thinking to myself, they're just the neighbors or something. So I go inside to talk to Kelly, and I'm like, hey, Kelly, like, is that your kid or whose kid is that on the block? She said she's very, very familiar with everyone in this area. There's no kids. So she said, where did that, where was the kid? And I explained in this exact like area. Yeah. She said there used to be a well here where a little there girl, a well right there, where a girl fell into and died. Holy shit. That's the well right there. It's blocked off now. Whoa. Wow. Okay, that's crazy. And that's why you guys are out here. I came out here to get some answers, and I definitely got them. I'm very grateful. Thank you. It is really late a.m. I am in my room. I go to sleep. I'm gonna leave the camera recording. I promise you guys, I was gonna do this. Let's go to bed. Um, hopefully, I can get some sleep. Hopefully, nothing weird happens as I'm sleeping. But it's gonna be cool to document, nonetheless. I'm gonna let myself sleep. It's a very, very long time. I am so tired. It's like 4 30 in the morning. And uh, I put the camera there, I got a light. I got a power source to keep it charged and running throughout the night. The IR lights are on, so I have power as well. 
See you guys in the morning. Hold on a second, everybody. Okay, I thought... At first, a while, a few minutes ago, I thought it froze up, but it turned out it was just the way the camera was. Sorry, it's just the way the video was in here. Sorry about that, and sorry, Mr. Mo Sarji. My apologies, sir. My apologies. Let's get back to the film. Sorry, I got the, I still got the sticker on my own Hold on, everybody. <sighs> notification popped up. Sorry. Sorry about that. A notification had popped up. My apologies, everybody. I'm pretty sure something did that. Something in here. I'm going to leave my camera aimed at myself over here.
Yeah, that was... That was... That place was real creepy. Let's give his video a thumbs up. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my channel or Mo Sarge's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my channel, we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And sorry for all the notifications and for that interruption too, everybody. I didn't mean for that to happen. I'm sorry, everybody. I really am. My apologies, everybody. I'm sorry. I really am. And I'm off now. So until next time, see ya.